Hey everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Genghis. Legends of Mushrooms here, the final class. So I've done videos on Warrior, Archer, Mage, and then all the way down, Swordsman, Axe, Warrior, Shadow, Sniper, Wind, Cross, Bower. And now Healer and Spellcaster. I'm going to do these two together. They're very similar, a uh, little different, but for the most part, it just doesn't really matter which one you choose because you can do a whole bunch of things with both of them. They don't have any specific skills that are recommended. It's just a lot of open-end uh, concepts that you can use. I prefer Spellcaster tab here just because uh, it kind of looks more like dark magic, a little better than the healing aspect. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So when it comes to gear, this absolutely matters a lot. So you're going to want things that have regeneration, stunning to slow the opponent, and uh, evasion to avoid being hit. So in some ways, it's, this is like a perfect gear for the healer uh, tab. So you want to stun the enemy and you want to evade attack. So the, the reasons why you want all three of these are basically the healer has like a mediocre attack. It also has a pretty good health level, but it doesn't have the greatest attack. But what the healer does is amplify your whole team. So it's healing people, it's increasing their attacks, and it's slowing down the enemy. So think of you have a, if you have a tank getting you know a warrior and the enemy's just focusing on them a lot and really hitting them, your healer is going to be healing them and slowing down the enemy so that your teammate, the warrior, can fight back and survive longer. And at the same time, it's gonna be making your archers stronger so that they can attack better. So that's what you want. Stun, evasion, and regeneration as your skills. Like absolutely, that's what you want. And then the skills kinda of don't matter and I'm gonna show you what I mean. Cause none of that really comes up in any of the skills. Like if you look, Everything is damage oriented and there might be like slow the opponent for five seconds, things like that. Like right here, set up a trap, deal 92% damage, slowing the target by 40%, lasting for five seconds. Then there's, uh, is it this one? So, and recover 30% of max HP within five seconds. So like that could be good for the healer. Um, then there's the vines, summon vines dealing damage and imprisoning the targets within the range for one second. So all of that could be good for the healer, but obviously you're gonna wanna get things that are down here, but immortal ones are gonna be more difficult to get. As you can see, they have a vent at the top, so they're gonna be more limited in being able to obtain them. But uh, basically just uh, pick whatever skills you have that give the most area uh, damage and if you could slow down the enemy for your teammates, that's good. But where a healer really needs to be careful is what pets you're going to choose. So there's all sorts of pets that are perfect for a healer. And like the panda is one here. HP regeneration, 35%. Because if there's one thing you want is you want the healer to stay alive. Because as much as the warrior, the tank is going to be the focal point of the offense to attack and try to kill because they have to. Once the healers go, then it's like, oh, now we can actually hurt people. So healers have to stay alive. So Panda is a perfect pet for that. Right there, that's not a good one, the dragon. And this one's a good one, active skill, energy regeneration, 20%. So that's a really good one. And then basically just look for that, those type of skills. There's a lot down here that do fit those, uh, that bill. And I'll just click through the red ones and see what we can get. So here's a really nice one, the War, Warlord uh, Hydro Sprite, active skill regeneration, 25%. So what that means is that's going to regenerate your skills faster so you could use them again. Reduce enemy attack speed by 15%. That could be something you really want to consider. Slow them down. And uh, so your teammates can do more damage. Right here, skill damage. That's not one you're going to be looking at. Speed, no. HP regeneration. Very nice one here with the Kung Fu Master. 
and reduce enemy movement. This is a nice one. Snail, really reduce that enemy so that uh, your teammates can do the damage. Combo, combo, no. So it's just really, there's nothing like exactly that you want out there in any of the guides for the healer. There's just a lot of different paths you can do. But just one thing you have to do when you pick healer is you have to expect, accept mentally that you are playing this game to help your team. You're not playing to have the biggest attack. You're not playing to be the tank. You are playing to be the ultimate teammate that helps your team out. So in some ways you have to kind of build around your team. If you have a lot of warriors and tanks on your team, you might really want to reduce the enemy speed because uh, they're going to be, you don't want them attacking your tank really quickly and killing them, right? Uh, if, and then if you have lots of archers with really high power, you know, you might want to, uh, you might want to be having some more heal on. So let me know what you guys are going to be doing with your healer out there. This one's really an open book and so many different ways you can go about it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.